Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I am very pleased to welcome you all, and I recognize almost everybody in the room, to the Undergraduate Classics Oral Reading Club Spring Performance. And the reason I say that very loudly and clearly is because we have some interlopers trying to come in um, for a, a, a comparative literature conference, but that session is not happening here right now. It's happening tomorrow in the same space. So instead, we will be favored, as you know, um, as old hands now will know, by a series of readings of literary texts from classical antiquity, from um, the original Latin and Greek. And as always, I'm terribly pleased to see just how much olive there is on the South Indian's <laughs> roster. I know Professor Burgess will be pleased to see a lot of Homer as well, um, but I think it's always good to have multiple entries from all of it. So, I hope you will all join with me in welcoming our speakers and to kick off the event this afternoon, Patrick Harris reading of its Tristia Book 4, Poem 9. Thank you, Professor. Um, so, uh, my name is Pat Harris. I'm a third year student in classics and philosophy, and um, I feel I should beg an indulgence from the audience, and particularly from Professor Keith, because this is the very first time uh, I've ever tried my hand at oral reading, unlike um, my, my cohorts, and so um, I'm sorry if I do anything terrible to all. Um, <laughs> I, I, I chose this piece mostly because uh, this, this is the piece that Maya waved in my face when she came to me and asked me if I would like to come out today and, and present, present something. Um, and I agreed to do it and, and sort of implicitly chose the piece on top of that um, because my experience with Ovid has been um, entirely confined to the Metamorphoses and to the Amorites. Um, and to have the chance to read something uh, from the Tristia change in tone and a change in scenery to, um, to Ovid's exile um, was, a, was a chance that I was very interested in. Um, and so I'm very pleased to do it, and um, I'll, I'll start if that's, if that's quite all right. Si licet et patris, nomen facinusque tacebo, et tua letais acta dabuntur aquis. Nostraque vincitur lacrimis, clementia seris, fac modo te patia painitui situi, fac modo te damnes cubiasque erradere vitae. Tempora si possis tisi ponea tua, sin minus, et flagrant odio tua pectora nostro, induet in felix arma coacta dol. Sim licet extremum, sicut sum, missus in orbem, nostra suas isti poriet, ira menus. Omnia, sin eskis, caesar mihi jura relinquit, et sola est patria, poena carere mea. Et patria, modo sit sospes, speramus ad ivo, saipe iovis Telo quercus ad justo virbet. Denique vindictae si sit mihi nulla facultas, pae erides vires et sua tela dabit, quod scuticis habitam longes motus in oris, sicaque sint oculis proxima signa meis, nostra per immensas ibunt praeconia entes, quodque querar noto qua patad orbe, orbis erit. Ibit ad hoc hasum quicquid dicemus ab ortu, testis et hesperiae vocis egois erit. Trans ego talure, trans altas audia rundas. Et genitus vox est magna futura mei. Nec tua te sontum tantum modo saecula norint, perpetua crime posteritatis eris. Iam fero in pugna sect non dum cornu assumpsi, nec mihi somendi causa sit ulo vel, circus ad hoc cesar. Spargit iam torvus 
Carena, Taurus et infesto, iam pere pulsat humo. Hoc quoque comorum plus et cane musa, receptus dom licet quic nomen de similare sum. said, my name is Greg. I am a fourth year of Baltic Studies and Classics major, and this is actually my last year doing this. So, this yeah. We'll see. Yeah. So the piece I am reading is uh, from Mexico's Libation Bearers. Um, it seems appropriate because last year I read this piece from the so, yeah. <laughs> So tear the no more exuma cross tito limo. He progas gain tame the kai to terk my tomb of the octo tolo. He russo the tree. Clue a cool side. Locomon in a cold bacterium. Ton delta on the ton the pente terion. Ugar parom o moxa son. Pater moron. Ud exetain a care at hora cru. Ti creem alauso, ti spotheed o meguri stefei guna creem, parisin melanchim ex prepulsa. Oia axum para prose caso, potra domois de peem a pros cue nehon. E petri tamo utas de pe casas tu co coas perusas, ner terois milingata. Udem potolo, cagare electram de co stefein. Da pain tain and ain pente ugro prepus. O stel dos me tisas dai moron patros, genur sima cost helone moi. Pulere staton in a capodon, o sansa cos matog gnac home, hate is hate a cross trope. Kai bochar 
Ruf da kommt es. Thank you. And next is Maya and Greg doing a dialogue from Euripides' Helen. So this is a dialogue from Euripides' Helen between the uh, crotchety old woman played by none other than Maya Chakraborty and the slightly old fish male louse played by none other than myself. Seems quite appropriate, really. <laughs> and we're essentially doing this because we did this play last year. So. Not only that, it's a good rendition of our relationship in general, so <laughs> it shouldn't be anything new to anyone who already knows us. Tis pros pulaisen. Who could have said the moon can make pros aule you is in hestekos pulais? Och among the parentheses despotais. E kapane helein pefukos. Hoise nuka pestrefai. Oh, dry a tal to tal to pay kalos again exist. Oh my god, Alanis Kodu. Next is one with more of it. You can never have too much. 